uh, look into God's Word and study God's Word and study how to study God's Word. Um, let's begin again uh, by looking at Psalm 119. You would take your Bible and turn there. Psalm 119. I want to read today, beginning in verse 33. 33. Psalm 119, verse 33. Here's what God says. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall observe it to the end. Give me understanding that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and do not and not to dishonest gain. Turn away my eyes from looking at vanity and revive me in your ways. Establish your word to your servant, and that which produces reverence for you. Turn away my reproach which I dread, for your ordinances are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. Revive me through your righteousness. God's Word is true, and we believe that it gives life. We believe that the Bible gives power, it gives spiritual life. And we looked at yesterday that God's Word is truth, it is the authority, and it can help us in anything in our lives that we come to. Amen? We believe that. Well, yesterday, let's review for just a minute. Yesterday, we, we laid the foundation of everything that we're talking about for the week. We really spent all day yesterday talking about this book, right? Somebody reminds me, what did we talk about? What, what is one thing that we learned about God's Word? Shout it out. Say what? God's Word changes lives. Very, very good. It changes lives. What else? God's Word is true. It is perfectly true in all of its parts. It will never contradict itself. Very good. Another part. It's powerful. God's Word is powerful. Very good. God's Word is powerful in that it can change our lives, it can change the lives of other people. It is powerful, very good. One other thing. What? It is eternal, very good. Psalm 119 says, Your Word is fixed in the heaven. That means that God's Word can never it will never come to an end. It is always, always, always eternal. And this is the foundation. This is why you are here this week. To learn this book. To study this book. To fall more in love with the God of this book. And the Savior of this book. Right? We want to interpret God's word properly. Now, what is the name of the principles of interpretation? There's a very technical word. Anybody remember that word that we learned yesterday for principles of interpreting the Bible? Hermeneutics. Very good. Hermeneutics is the word that we use for interpreting the Bible. Rules and steps of interpreting the Bible. Today, Beginning this morning, we are going to begin these rules of interpreting the Word of God. If you look up here on the PowerPoint, today we are beginning our procedure for systematic Bible study. 
Now, I think this is a little bit bigger, right? You can see it a little bit better today? Okay. Even in the back, you can see this, okay? Good. Now, today, I want to give you an overview. Here's what we are going to look at over today, Wednesday, and Thursday. The next three days, we're going to cover this screen right here. Today, we're going to begin by the first step, which is observing the biblical text. What does it mean to observe the Bible? What does it mean to, to observe, look at, read the Bible over and over and over? We're going to look at that. Step number two is right in the middle where we interpret the text. We're going to interpret the text. After we have read the passage, for example, say you're going to preach on uh, Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. So you would read that passage and observe the passage. Then you would interpret the passage. Interpret the passage where you would use established rules. This is where you ask the question, what does it mean to study the Bible? What does this passage mean? How do I interpret it rightly? We're going to talk about that. And then finally, at the end, after you have observed, after you have interpreted, step number three is you apply the text. Apply the text. Where you ask the question, what shall I do? Of what do I have to do because of the passage that I have been studying? These are all very, very important steps, and the order is very, very important. You see, we don't want to come to our Bible and go immediately to step number three. What does it mean to me? We need to understand.